Hello everyone, in last video we saw how to install Yugo on Windows. In this video we are going to go through Yugo themes, how basically you can use Yugo themes to build your own portfolios and website. So for this go to themes.goyugo.io and in this as you can see here Yugo has provided us various themes which we can use. They are also sorted with the help of tags if you want to build blog. You can select this and you can see Yugo has provided us various blocks which we can use. Tags are also classified as multilingual, portfolio, bootstrap or landing, dark mode and many more. For this video I have selected fixit theme and I already have it open in my another tab. You can scroll down and you will find here fixit theme and just open it. So let's see here. You can go in demo and as you can see here they have provided us documentation. In documentation they have provided us basic what are the requirements what are the installation process content built-in shortcodes we will go through it so click on themes documentation in themes documentations you can see here they have requirements so what are the requirements for this website you should have Yugo already installed in your computer system and the version should be greater than 0.84 now to create a project we have to run this two commands in our command prompt or you can run these commands indirectly your visual studio code i'm running in my command prompt so let's split up our desktop and let's copy this command and let's paste over here so yugo has created a new site with the folder name my website as long as you get congratulation message we are good to go after this let's go in directory of my website folder so enter now we are in my website folder now to install this theme fix it theme we have to clone this theme into our themes folder copy paste enter as you can see this is cloning our fixit theme into our themes folder okay it's done it has cloned our fixit theme into our themes folder now let's create our first post to create a first post copy this command and paste Hugo will create a new post enter see our first post is created now let's open vs code in vs code open up my website folder now as you can see here we have the basic structure of yugo and in themes folder we have the fixed folder and the post we created is in content and in post folder our first post now the next thing we have to do is in config.toml file we have to mention our theme name so write theme equals and then our theme name you will see here in themes folder this fix it type it here and save the file now let's run this on our local server so for this open up the vs code terminal and here Type Yugo server. It's building our server. So web server is available at localhost 1313. Control plus right click here. Okay, so see our website is on localhost. Now to make changes in this, you have to make change in themes folder and then in config.toml file but here it's recommended to use alternate theme config to configure fixed theme so copy all this settings and paste this in config.toml file last file below this paste it now let's split up our screen now in config.toml file let's change the title this is the title my new yugo site let's change it and give the name whatever you want my site and save 
and as you can see here it's changed and now as you can see we don't have a post here why it is so because in content folder in post which we created earlier first post.md as you will see here the draft is true let's make it false okay so as you can see our first post is created all the basic settings of this page and inside this page of first post this all will change from config.toml file from here so this is the basic and let's write here hello world and save this and as you can see we have here our hello world all the basic settings of the post and the content you have to add on you can do it here with the help of markdown file let's go to our main page and the gravatar you see here is from gravatar.com you can change this similarly in config.toml file now let's maximize this and as you can see here we have the post section we have to create this and then here you have search and theme toggle white theme dark theme so this is all for this video in next video we will talk about how you can deploy this website on netlify see you in the next video bye